Hey, good morning. It is Tuesday morning, Tuesday morning transformation. So this is a new year. We said a few weeks ago, this is a uh, topics along the series of mastering ourselves. Hey, we set goals outside of us, but when our only goal becomes to master ourselves, go to another level of consciousness, all our goals and uh, visions become a vacuum and we just create in our world with, with more ease. So I have a question for you. Are you a diamond in the rough? Are you a diamond in the rough? So if we look at, uh, if you see you're hiking along a trail, a diamond in the rough, it looks like a rock. I mean, you could walk right past it and never know there's a big fat diamond in there. Well, how is that diamond formed? It's forged through stress over time. Hey, Maria. Hey, Dustin. It's forged through stress over time. Doesn't that sound a lot like life, right? So, so. But inside, it's one of the most valuable stones on earth. It has a boatload of value, hey, Anthony. So what's covering that up? Why do we feel like a diamond in the rough? We feel more like a stone than a diamond sometimes on the inside. Well, what's covering it up is just our perspective of ourself. So I want to give you a tool that can shift everything on your perspective of yourself. So we have multiple personality traits. So we have many gifts, and those gifts are given us to fulfill a soul purpose. But every gift has an opposite side. It has an opposite side. It's like every, you know, it's like a double-edged sword. So the thing is, those gifts aren't false. Our perspective is when we see those gifts as false. But we, but each side and its opposite gives us gives gives us a reference point. In other words, we don't know black until we know white. We don't know hot until we know cold. We don't know peace until we know anger and chaos. And so here we have, if every gift has multiple sides, what are we experiencing? Well, if you tend to be a very loving person, hey, Roberto, tend to be a very loving person, Philip, what's going on? Then that means you're easily hurt. If you're very driven and goal-oriented, that means you're going to be completely impatient. How many people know that one, right? If you're very creative, then you're going to tend to be disorganized or you may have chaos and disorganization in your life. If you're very empathetic, in other words, you feel people's feelings or you're very compassionate, you're going to tend to hang on to emotions too long and create problems or perpetuate moods and emotions and create problems in your relationships or within yourself. So mastering yourself means understanding both sides because when you don't know how to manage both sides, then it becomes a barrier to fulfilling your vision and what your goals are. Now, what we tend to do is we tend to resist the other side. Man, I hate when I get impatient or I'm scared to love because I love so deeply and then I get hurt. And, and then what we do is we resist it, but that pain is what causes us our problems, is what causes limiting beliefs. It's what stops the vacuum from the vision and everything we want to create. And this is part of mastering ourselves. Because like on other TMTs, you only ever have one problem. You only ever have one problem in life. How many? How many is this right here? Just one, and that's your level of consciousness. So if we can raise our level of consciousness to appreciate those gifts. So, so now a diamond in the rough becomes a metaphor because once we, we crack open the stone and we polish the diamond and we cut it into a most valuable shape, then we twist that diamond, and whatever facet that light hits, is the facet that's going to sparkle and shine. That's part of our personality. So mastering ourselves is like a metaphor of twisting a diamond and using those traits at the appropriate time. So I'm just going to talk about myself right now. Hey, I'm a self-empowerment coach, spiritually based self-empowerment coach. You know, all day long, I'm telling people how to get to a higher mindset, what to do to, to reach their goals. But guess what? At night, while I'm in a relationship, my partner doesn't want to be coached, okay? So I got to take off that coaching hat, otherwise I create problems, and that's not the first time that happened. Right when I was raising my son, I would tell him, son, you can either have Yoda, and I can teach you the wisdom of the universe, or you could have the wrestler. That depends on the language you use when you talk to me. You know, I have certain, we have certain boundaries and rules in the house. You can have Yoda, or you can have the wrestler. Those are very different personality types. I also tend to be very creative and innovative. So when I meditate, I get all these new big ideas and want to change the world. 
and it drives my team crazy. So we have our morning meeting. I'm like, let's do this, and let's do this, and let's do this, and let's do this. And they're going, ah, we just got six things yesterday. So they have to always put a bit in my mouth, right? I'm in an accountability group. And, and the joke on the accountability, accountability group is what six things is Fred going to come up with today? And so we have a list of, okay, what are three things you're working on this year? Or what are, you gonna, what are three things you're going to do this week? And my list is always 25 things. What's the other side of that? That I start projects and then I, I delegate them or whatever, but some of those things may not be getting finished. Although innovation is great, it's like what's completed? That's what matters. Hey, Ty and Jonathan. And then on top of that, being a driver, I want it all done now. So I have six new ideas. I want them done now. And then everybody around you is totally crazy. So what's important to understand both sides, to learn how to master both sides, to learn to love both sides, appreciate both sides. They're part of who you are. They're part of you fulfilling your sole purpose and know when to use each side at the appropriate time. Now, when you do this, you begin to master yourself. You go to a higher level of consciousness. You have more internal peace because you're not resisting who you are or who God created you to be. You're actually using it as an emotional resource to take your life to the next level. So here's an action step. What I'd like you to do, and this comes out of the You Are More Powerful and Healed System, out of the first E, exercise loving yourself and others, because part of loving yourself, taking yourself in your life and mastering yourself to the next level is learning to appreciate both sides. So what you do is you write down in one column all the traits that you think are absolutely freaking wonderful about you, right? And then you look at that trait like you're very loving. Okay, what's, what's the other side? Well, I can get hurt. Now, what action step are you going to do to manage that? Okay, well, you know, maybe I trust people too easily in what I'm going to do. You know, I used to have the mantra, because I'm that way, very trusting. And, and what I learned, my old mantra used to be, I trust people until they show me they can't. And then what I learned through pain is by the time they show you, it's already too late. So now my mantra is, hey, I allow people the time to show, show me who they are. And then I just pay attention to the red flags. So I watch their actions, I listen to their words, I'm still very trusting, I don't have mistrust, but people will eventually show you who they are. So that's an example. So write down all the traits that you think are great. Hey Mark, good to see you, hey Bill. And, and then write down the opposite, and then how you're gonna manage it. And here's the key, love both sides and manage it in a way that's positive. positive. Now, hey, if I can help you with any of this, that'd be great. This all comes from the book, You Are More Powerful Than You Think. It's around here somewhere. And, or go to youaremorepowerful.com. There's a whole uh, online coaching group. So we want to make this year great. We want to help you get to the next level of consciousness. I believe that you're here for a sole purpose. And if we can help give you the tools to master yourself, that you can fulfill why you're here in this physical body with an intention to take humanity and change the world, even if it's your world, to another level, then we can come together in a great consciousness and make a difference and live the most fulfilling life. So, hey, are you a diamond in the rough? Nope, you're a shiny diamond. Let's peel away all those stuff. Let's, let's love both sides. Let's take our intention to another level and let's take our consciousness to another level. Okay, you guys, go to youaremorepowerful.com. Love you guys. Peace.